What's up, Fit Body Nation? It's Trainer Ben here. What an incredible day. What are we hitting today? It's legs. It's Wednesday. Week one, Wednesday workout. We're going to focus on the legs, really getting them strong, really working those large muscles so that way we can continue just burning those calories that we started burning yesterday, and then we started burning the day before that. We're going to tenfold these results today. All right, make sure you got a set of dumbbells. It's your choice whether you use dumbbells with most of this workout. Make sure you got a water bottle, something to drink, and we're going to start this thing. All right, so crank your jams up. We're going to be doing each exercise for one minute. So we're going to start with a curtsy lunge. Here's how you're going to do this. All right, take your right foot across, and you're going to add that squat in there. So right foot comes across the left, squat down. Now notice I got the weight on this heel that's in front. And right back up. You'll feel it pull back here in the glutes. So we're going to start the time. All right, so here we go. We're going to do one minute on each side. All right. So now with this, drop it low. There you go. Don't worry about how many reps you get. We're not trying to race through this one. Good. So take it down. Keep the weight on that heel that's crossed in front. Excellent. Nice and slow. It's a good day right here. Good day. That's it. Hear that thunder? Love it. We got the thunder rumbling, roaring in the background. That's just powerful with the leg workout. All right, so we're about 40 seconds in right now. We're going to keep moving on this. That's it, good. All right, we got about 10 seconds left on this side, then we're going to switch to the other leg. Now, one side's going to be easier than the other. You're just going to be more natural with it. All right, so switch into the other leg. Cross in front. That left leg, the one you're crossing in the front, make sure you're putting the weight on your heel. There you go, good. The back leg, you just kind of come up on your toe. There we go. As low as you can. Now my guideline when I do this is I try to touch that back knee down to the ground. Good. Now hopefully you can hear me over the rain hitting the building. But if not, no worries. We'll figure it out. You just mimic exactly what I'm doing. All right, 35 seconds in on this one. Let's keep working. He's really not taking a whole lot of rest today. Good, not until we get to the end, and then I'll have a question for you. We'll see if you can answer it. I know on Monday I had several of you guess it right. Five seconds left. Good. All right, so this next one is gonna be a low jack. We're gonna take it slow. So get in the squat hold position. You're gonna come out and back, out and back. Now, I want you to go about this pace. That way you're staying low with it, okay? It could be called a squat jack as well. This has multiple names. But nice and slow, match my pace, match my rhythm. There you go, that's it. So keep those knees bent in the down position. Try not to straighten them, everything you got. With 30 seconds in, maintain that pace. Feet together, feet out. Feet together, feet out, good. Keep it up, come on, stay low with it. Keep working, keep moving. It's only a minute. There we go, come on. You got it, that's it. 15 seconds left, stay low. Good, keep moving. Feet together, feet out. Eight seconds left. Come on, you know the two routine. We only go through these once. And relax, then we'll never see the workout again. All right, so a deep runner's lunge. You're gonna lunge forward and you're leaning over with your hands. Now my knee is still back behind my toe. And then back forward, you're gonna alternate. Good. Nice and low. Take it slow, you don't have to worry about getting a ton of reps on this one. But get nice and low with it, really stretch it out, and bring it back. There you go. Now you'll ultimately feel this one right on the peak of the quad. There you go, close up to your knee, a big muscle there, that teardrop muscle, that's where you're gonna feel it, good. 
All right, let's keep working on this. We've got about 30 seconds left. So lunge forward, reach down towards the ground, right back up. Lunge forward, reach down towards the ground, right back up, good. All right, that's it, keep it up. We've got time for a few more reps. We're still not racing through it. Good, five seconds. Almost there. Perfect. All right, so this next one, we're gonna go into a little cardio with it, but it's gonna be a split lunge. So with the split lunge, you're gonna switch your feet in the air. In three, two, one. So start with your feet, switch them. So notice I'm adding that jump in there. I'm still keeping my feet nice and wide. There you go. That way I keep the form as good as I can. There you go. Now try not to stop on this one. I'm gonna keep working. I'm gonna turn around and face you here. So that way I can also see the time rolling. All right, we got about 30 seconds left. So keep it up, doesn't have to be a fast movement. And if you can't do the split lunge, maybe you can't do the impact of jumping up and jumping down yet, because you're just starting out. That's fine, do a regular alternating lunge. 15 seconds. Now I know you're starting to feel it, because I'm starting to feel it. Eight seconds. But you're doing good, don't stop. Five more seconds on this one. And relax, okay. So now we're doing a side lunge push up. Here's how this one works. Start with your feet together, side lunge over, nice and low. Now notice my weight is above the squatting knee, and then you're pushing back up. So when you push back up, you literally come off your foot. So down, right back up. Down, right back up. So get low and deep into this side lunge. And we're gonna spend one minute on each side. Good, that's it, perfect. All right, let's keep it up. We'll force through on this one. One minute per side. That's it, keep working. Looking good. Come on, still keep the weight on your heels on this. That's kind of a key thought whenever you're doing a leg workout. And if you follow these workouts for the next year, two years, three years, you're gonna hear me say it over and over and over. Keep the weight on your heels. We wanna save those knees as long as you can. There you go. You don't wanna be in your 60s, 70s with bum knees. Good, because of improper form and technique. Perfect. Eight seconds left on this leg. Five seconds left. Three, two, one. Now, other side. And go, here we go. So nice and low, pop the weight up. Nice and low, pop it up. All right, so for this one, keep your hands on your hips. Don't let your arms flange around all over the place. Good. So down, back up. Now this is one that if you choose, you can hold dumbbells with. Center them up on your body. Good. That's it, perfect. All right, we're 30 seconds in on this one. Again, keep it nice and low. Down and then pop it up. A little air time, a little hang time there. And then gravity pulls you right back down to the next rep. Good. Come on, you got it. Let's keep on moving. All right, 10 seconds left on this one. 10 seconds left. There you go, you got it, good. We got five seconds and counting. And perfect. Okay, so for this next one, take your yoga mat. Switch it around. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump, jump over left to right. So we're gonna be doing skiers or mobile hops or ski jumps, bunch of names. Basically your feet stay together, you're in a squatted position, you're gonna jump from side to side. We're gonna go straight into it right now from this point. So I'm using a yoga mat as my guide. That means I'm just getting high enough and wide enough to clear the yoga mat. Do you want to challenge yourself and have something where you jump farther and you go much wider? You can do that as well. All right, let's save some energy for the second round. First one is just to loosen you up, warm you up. 
Really to get you going. If you're feeling tired, starting to get exhausted, pause this, catch your breath with some water, and then jump right back into it. Good. We've got 20 seconds left, so we're not there. You can do it. Keep working with me. There you go. I'm not just here yelling at you, coaching you. I'm working with you. I'm as human as you are. It's just as tiring on me. Five seconds. And good. Okay, so you can take the mat back around if you want. I'm going to. Next one we're going to do is a sumo squat. This one, your feet are wide. Your toes are pointed out. We're going to squat low in three, two, one. Let's go. Okay, so sumo squats. I want you to come up on your toes when you do it. So squat low, up on your toes. Now, what is this one working? This one is specifically working in an area that a lot of women try to hit. The inner thighs. That's exactly what this one does. You can get low with it. This one, you can increase your reps a little bit faster if you want. You can add a weight to it if you want. There's a lot of variations you can do to increase how much harder this one is. For now, I'm going to stick with body weight, keeping my forms decent. There we go. Loosen it up on the first round, and then the second round we'll get more reps, we'll hit it faster. There you go. But keep moving for now. You've got exactly 10 seconds left. Squat low, up on your toes. Come on. We're not to the rest yet, but we're getting close. Five seconds, and then we're going into high knees. Since you know what high knees are, we're not going to stop and rest. Three, two, one. Let's do it. Okay. So, get those knees as high as you can. Really bring them up. There you go. We haven't done any high knees since Monday's hit training. So you should be loosened up. If you're still sore from it, that's all right. Maybe you need to do more of a modified march, something like this. That's fine. Key with this is work. It's moving. Let's give it your best. Get your knees as high as you're capable of getting them. Excellent. All right, let's keep working on it. We still got about 30 seconds on the high knees. So left, 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 left. Let's get them up. Come on, it's a brand new day. Brand new day, start fresh. Maybe you rested yesterday, so maybe you need this. Here we go. All right, 10 seconds left. 10 seconds. All right, five seconds. Good, relax, okay. Now this one you're gonna need a dumbbell. I'm gonna scoot this back so you can see it. This is called a clam bridge. So you're gonna be on your elbow, your knee is on the ground to your toe. That's what you're resting on. This leg in the up position looks like this. This is going to be the clam movement, up and down. But we're going to put weight on your thigh. All right, in three, two, one. So bring it down and right back up as high as you can. Now this is a two for one because the leg that's on the ground that you're keeping propped up, you're keeping your hips off the ground, that's having to stabilize everything. So it's working. The leg that's moving the weight up and down. It's working. So where should you be feeling it? Back of the glutes, right there, down deep in the lower gluteus maximus area. Hits the gluteus minimus as well. Alright, you're going to keep moving on this one. Alright, you're doing good. Almost there. Five seconds left, then we're switching. Good, switching around. Alright. So, starting with the other leg. Same thing, knee on the ground, hip up, weight across your leg, and bring it up. Now, the weight moves all over the place when it's on your leg, but that's okay. You're still going to feel it. Doesn't take a lot. If you've got to drop it down and do body weight only, then do that. All right, let's keep working. Ooh, I'm feeling a burn. A real good burn. There we go. So these are incredible exercises. Again, this is called a weighted clam exercise. Weird, I know, but man, it's good for you. All right, we got 20 seconds left. Perfect. 
15 seconds. Three. Come on, come on, come on. Two. One. Relax. All right, so this next one, this will be the last one before our one minute rest, before we go into the question to see if you can answer it. This one has many names. It's a plyo, mountain climber, a plyo lunge. I call them the seven lunge because of uh, a good friend of mine, an MMA trainer, Krav Maga instructor. This is what he does. So this is what we're gonna do. You're gonna start with your right foot by your hand. And then you're gonna jump and you're gonna switch in the air. Left foot by the left hand. We're gonna do this for one minute. And let's go with it. All right, big switches. And so now this one doesn't have to be super fast. And you may not be as limber yet to get those, your feet up to your hands. But the key is to get at your best. Get as close to as you can. All right, we do have a rest coming up next. So you really just gotta push through that. Let's listen to the train. Come on. All right, let's keep it up. Almost there. Good. Keep those switches going. Get the right foot by the right hand. Left foot by the left hand. Ideally, you want your ankle touching your wrist. I don't even think mine stretches that far. Come on, you got this. 10 seconds left. Eight seconds left. Come on, keep those switches going. Five seconds. Two, one. All right, so we got one minute to rest. I apologize again for the audio. I got a train in the background. We got rain coming down, but hopefully you can hear me. So let's go into a question time. You get some water. I'm going to read you off a question. You choose A, B, or C, and at the end of this, I'll tell you the correct answer. So, how many calories does it take to play ping pong for one hour? A. 100 calories. B, 175 calories. C, 200 calories. Or D, 265 calories. All right, answer comes up at the end of the workout. If you know it or want to guess it, put your answer in the comments below, whether you're logged into YouTube or Facebook. All right, hope you got some water. We're going to be starting right back at the top with the curtsy lunge. This time, we're going to be moving a little bit faster. I'm going to get my time a little bit closer so I can see it. All right. So now, starting with a curtsy lunge. In 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, so let's make this one work. I want you to alternate on this one because we're doing a solid minute alternating, which means it'll be 30 seconds per side. We're gonna pick the pace up on this one. We're gonna hit it in our time that we need to hit it in. All right, so you're gonna keep alternating. None of them will be for a minute a piece anymore. It'll be 30 seconds per side. All right, maximum one minute per exercise. That's it. So speed it up. Get more reps on this. You know how to do it from the first round. You watched that. You watched it. It was a little bit slower. This one's gonna be a little bit faster. Ten seconds left, and we're going into the low jack. Five seconds left. All right, get in position. Feet together, nice and low, knees bent. Here we go. Good. Stay low. One minute on this. That's it. Perfect. Keep it down. Come on. There we go. We're gonna blast through this one. Minimum rest. We're gonna transition as quick as we can. Stay low. Keep those knees bent the entire time. There you go, perfect. Almost there. Keep them bent, stay down. We got 30 seconds. That's it, good, come on. You got this. Keep working, stay low. You go. Do not straighten those legs. 18 seconds. Come on. Almost through it. 
We got 10 seconds left. Eight seconds left. Stay down, five seconds. Now, a deep runner's lunge, alternating. And here we go. Nice and low, lean your body over your knee, try to touch the ground. This is what a lot of runners do to stretch out. But when it's repeated reps, it's a good exercise. Good. All right, keep working. We're already 20 seconds in. Rep after rep. Doing good. There we go. Excellent. Got it. Don't stop. Got 25 seconds. Here we go. Come on. I'm sweating. I know you're sweating. That's what we want, though. All right. We got 18 seconds left on this. Let's keep on moving. We do have split lunges coming up next. Eight seconds. Come on. We're going to be going right into split lunges. Three, two, one. All right, here we go. Split lunges. Keep your hands on your hips. Nice, good switches. If you get to where you can't jump, take it into a regular lunge. Good. There you go. You got it. Really hitting the thighs today. Toning them up. Getting ready for short season. Because it's here. It is definitely here. All right, 30 seconds in. Keep working, keep moving. There we go. Come on, you got this. I can do it, you can do it. Keep moving. Almost there. 18 seconds left. Come on. We're close. My form's not perfect. There's probably in neither. But let's keep working. Five seconds. All right, so now side lunge push up. To the right. There we go. We're going to do 30 seconds on each leg. Here we go. Nice and low, push off the ground. Nice and low, push off the ground. And remember, weight on your heels. Come on. I see you want to go up on your toes. Don't do it. Save the knees. 10 seconds left. Here you go. Got this. Five seconds. Three seconds. Now switch, other leg. Nice and low, push off the ground. Nice and low, push off the ground. To modify this, don't go quite as low with your side lunge. Here we go. 18 seconds. Excellent. Come on. We got 10 seconds. And you're doing good. Eight seconds. Five seconds. Perfect. All right, now skiers. So jump inside to side. Let's do this. Now keep the feet together. If you want to set something down to jump over as a marker, a guideline, go for it. Ideally, keep your knees bent. Stay low. Keep those feet together as best you can. Good. Jump. Side to side. Big movements, small movements. Movement's the key. All right, 25 seconds in. Perfect. 30 seconds in. Got it. Looking good. Keep it up. That's it. Got this. Come on. Doing phenomenal. Here we go. Almost there. Got 15 seconds. There you go. Got 10 seconds. 8 seconds left. 5 seconds left. 3, 2, 1. Now, sumo squat. One minute, let's go. All right, after this, we're literally three exercises away from being done. Gotta work on it though. Come on, keep them going. Squat, come up on your toes, nice and low. Remember, this is your inner thighs. Excellent. There we go, there we go. Come on, we got it. 30 seconds left. Got high knees coming up next. Good. Keep working. Come on, Fit Body Nation. 18 seconds. Here we go. I know you get the results. 
You've been following these workouts for a week. I know you're getting results. Best way to measure it, not the scale, not even measurements. Take pictures every two weeks of yourself. You'll see the change. It's always phenomenal. All right, now we got our high knees. So let's get them up. Keep them high. Give it your best. Here we go. And let's work on this one. I should be able to heel here, your feet slamming the ground every time you step. That's how intense I want you to be with this. Here we go. Good. Good, 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 good. Come on. All right, we're 30 seconds in. Almost there. Good. Got it. Don't stop. All right. Got 20 seconds in counting. There we go. I know when you get tired, man, it gets tough, doesn't it? You're almost there. Got 10 seconds. Almost through it. Five more seconds. Hang with me. Three, two, one. All right, on your side. Weighted clam bridge. I'm not going to grab my weight because I don't want to waste time. Remember, up on your knee, side to side. Put some weight on your thigh. Just step it up, make it a lot harder. Good. I'm not doing it. Save time. That way I can transition quick and we can keep it under our 25 minute mark. All right. 10 seconds left on this side. If you're not using weight, like I'm not, get your reps faster. Three seconds and switch. Other side. Here we go. All right. Bring them up, bring them down. Good. All right, let's keep working. That's it. All right, we got 20 seconds left. Almost there. We only got one more exercise after this. I want you to keep that intensity till the end. Come on, you got it. 10 seconds. Eight seconds. Five more. Come on. Three, two, and one. Now, we've got the seven split lunge or the seven mountain climber. All right, so big switches with your feet. Now this is it, last few seconds right here. Try to get your ankles up by your wrist. Big, huge movements. Here we go, perfect. Let's work on it, let's keep moving with it. I know legs are not always the funnest, but man, they're primary. They are one of the most important muscles to work, and they're one of the largest muscles to work. So that means they consume more calories which means you get faster results. So make it count, make it a priority in your week. 18 seconds left. Come on, got this. Almost there, eight seconds, five seconds, three, two, one. All right, I've got sweat dripping down my face. I hope you got sweat dripping down here, so let's see. If you got the answer, correct. So how many calories does it take to play ping, play ping pong in an hour? I don't know if you guessed A, 100, B, 175, C, 200, or D, 265. The correct answer is D, 265 calories. All right, if you guessed it right, let me know. Love you guys, you rocked it. Be back here tomorrow for another incredible workout. We got chest and shoulders tomorrow. And subscribe, like, and share these videos.